Hi, I'm Rebecca Ryan. I'm a shamanic witch in Melbourne, Victoria, and brooms are particularly um, precious to me. Here's one I made earlier. This broom is made of uh, birch, white birch. To make a broom, probably the first thing that I would recommend is that you choose the wood. So, obviously different woods, different trees have different magical resonances, obviously. So you would choose one that holds the resonance that you like, or you would choose one that chooses you. So, this is silver birch, because out in my front yard there is a silver birch who's constantly, generously dropping bits and pieces of itself on the lawn. It's also a tree that I meditate around and do sacred circles around, so it's very precious to me. So once you've chosen the correct resonance of wood that you want to work with, you obviously collect the pieces. The putting together of a broom is very much an individual process. So as you can see, this is wild and woolly, which I particularly like. This broom currently is resting, being um, home <laughs> to a whole lot of different um, base elements. So fire and earth and air and water, mountain, metal. So it's currently gathering energy through the little dolls that you can see resting on it. To put a broom together, you want to just um, ask the wood how it would like to go together or use your most creative and your most imaginative self. Your broom will probably not look like this. Often brooms are more compact, whatever. However you want to put it together is fine. There is no particular trick that I can recommend for sticking the bits of um, what will be the brush onto the base of it. So these, these are tied together and glued together. I recommend um, after you have them uh, fixed on that you uh, decide if there is a colour resonance that you want to use. So you might then use ribbons, um, you might use particular colours of string depending on what, to, what you want to use the broom for. Brooms as you will find or as you might know if you have one already are incredibly potent. So brooms are very good for uh, clearing and brushing things away. It's a broom. So for gathering energy up and then brushing it out of your house, brooms are fantastic. Brooms are also, as we know from folklore, good to ride on. So uh, depending on the, on the resonance of the broom that you make, they're very good to have around you to help guide your dreaming processes to where you want to go. A broom will anchor your physical self, so if you're meditating and the broom is beside you or you're holding the broom, it will anchor your physical body in this physical realm, which might make it easier for you to be jumping out into different realms and different dimensions. So um, regardless of how you put a broom together, it will be just right. You can certainly like wands, you can have more than one broom. I encourage you to get going on a broom sooner rather than later because the exploration of how it comes together is already a magical training. and. Um, this one is uh, resting with base elements. So the dedication, after you invite a spirit into your broom, the dedication of the broom is equally as important as making it. So this one has creatures currently resting in it. You might want to leave your broom out under certain moon phases. You might want to put it out in the water. You might want to take it by sea or by mountain. I recommend um, a slow and steady process in broom making because they are so worth having in the end. I can't tell you how um, precious this is to me and how useful it is for my magical process, either for traveling or for gathering up energy for me to use. Enjoy. Thanks.